It all started at 3 a.m. The house was quiet. The world was asleep. My brain was wired on caffeine and curiosity. I was deep in a GitHub rabbit hole. What began as a search for a simple code snippet spiraled into exploring bizarre repositories. My original mission was long forgotten. I found myself clicking through obscure forks, discovering strange fascinating projects. I stumbled onto a developer obsessed with wireless security. No flashy YouTube tutorials, just dense, technical code and sparse readmes. Then I saw it. A repository called Freeway. Minimal description, but the code was elegant. This wasn't just another Wi-Fi scanner. It was something more. These weren't mainstream apps, they were specialized instruments for a knowledgeable audience. As I dug deeper, I realized I'd found something truly special, and I knew I had to share what I'd discovered. When people talk Wi-Fi tools, you hear the same names, Wireshark, Aircrack NG, Kismet. These are the industry titans, powerful, reliable, and well-documented. They're the foundation of wireless network analysis, and for good reason. But that night, I found something different. The indie developers of the Wi-Fi world. These creators work in the shadows, building tools for niche problems or with fresh perspectives. No marketing, no fancy websites, just pure utility spread by word of mouth in small communities. Their tools are often single purpose, lean and command line driven, built for speed and efficiency. It felt like discovering a new artist before they hit the radio. Some of these projects had fewer than 100 stars on GitHub, barely discussed on major forums. This was the underground scene, where value is measured in capability, not downloads. There's a whole ecosystem just below the surface of mainstream tech. And I was about to dive headfirst into it. The real adventure was just beginning. The first tool that grabbed me was Freeway. It turns any Wi-Fi enabled device into an open source AirTag. Freeway listens for Wi-Fi probe requests, those are you there signals your devices send out to find networks. It logs the unique MAC address and estimates proximity, all passively. No interaction, no network connection, no exploits, just listening. The interface is minimal, a real-time log of every device around you searching for Wi-Fi. Seeing my own phone, laptop, and watch pop up was jarring. For the first time, I saw the digital breadcrumbs I leave behind just by being in a room. Freeway made the invisible visible, showing how our devices constantly announce our presence. It's not a bug, it's how Wi-Fi works. The experience was a wake-up call about digital privacy in physical spaces. It's one thing to know your phone scans for networks, it's another to see it tracked as you move. Imagine public spaces, how many devices are logging our routines? Freeway isn't malicious, it's educational, peeling back the layers of technology we take for granted. And that reality is both fascinating and a little unsettling. After Freeway, I found Wi-Fi Security Auditor, a personal trainer for your Wi-Fi. It doesn't just check if your network is secure, it puts it through a full workout, testing defenses from every angle. This automated script runs a suite of penetration tests packaged into a single, easy-to-launch program. It maps your network, identifies connected devices, and checks for vulnerabilities like weak encryption, default passwords, and firmware exploits. It even tests for WPS flaws and simulates denial-of-service attacks. Running it on my home network was humbling. I thought I was secure, strong password, changed network name, remote admin disabled. But it flagged my router's WPS as vulnerable and pointed out outdated protocols on smart devices. The tool didn't just give a pass-fail, it explained each vulnerability and why it mattered. Suddenly, network security wasn't a checklist, it was an ongoing process. You have to understand every layer and actively manage your network's health. Wi-Fi Security Auditor gave me the power to do just that. It was like hiring a security consultant, but free and brutally honest, and it changed how I think about my own digital safety. Next up was Wi-Fi Attack Tool, a name that says it all. It's for security pros and educators to simulate Wi-Fi attacks in a safe environment. The tool automates attacks like de-authentication floods, evil twin access points, and handshake captures. Normally, these require juggling multiple tools and commands. Here, it's all streamlined. With a few inputs, you can see how attacks work and how to defend against them. Running a deauth attack on my test network, every device was kicked off Wi-Fi in seconds. The evil twin attack created a fake network identical to mine, 
easy to fall for if you're not careful. It was a visceral lesson in how fragile wireless security can be. This tool didn't just teach theory, it made the risks real. I became more cautious about pu public Wi-Fi and started paying attention to certificate warnings. It's one thing to read about attacks, it's another to see how easy they are to pull off. Wi-Fi attack tool is a powerful teacher, showing, not just telling, the importance of security, and it changed my behavior overnight. As the night wore on, I found OBIT Offensive Wireless Toolkit. If the previous tools were specialized instruments, OBT was the whole orchestra. It's a platform, not just a script, combining scanning, vulnerability analysis, password cracking, and attack modules in one intuitive interface. OBT's modular design lets you add your own scripts, making it endlessly extensible. It comes loaded with modules for everything from reconnaissance to advanced attacks like Karma and Rogue AP detection. The workflow is streamlined, discover networks, capture handshakes, crack passwords, all in logical progression. OBT shows that security isn't a single wall, but a series of defenses. A failure in one layer can compromise the whole system. My view of Wi-Fi security shifted from static to dynamic, constantly tested by devices and environment. OBT highlights the vast attack surface of a simple access point. Robust security means checking every door, window, and roof. OBT is the tool that checks them all. It's a masterclass in offensive thinking for defensive purposes. Nearing the end of my journey, I found two ultimate utility belts, Wi-Fi Arsenal and NRFI Monitor. Wi-Fi Arsenal is a curated collection, a massive list of links to hundreds of wireless security tools categorized by function. It's the Library of Alexandria for Wi-Fi, a map to the entire ecosystem. NRFI Monitor, meanwhile, is a specialized tool for deep, passive analysis. It visualizes Wi-Fi traffic, graphs channel use, tracks interference, and shows device density over time. It turns chaotic radio waves into clean, actionable data. Wi-Fi Arsenal showed me the field's vastness. NRFI Monitor showed its depth. Together, they completed the picture, breadth, and depth, tools for every need. The open source community is vibrant and endlessly creative. There's always another layer to peel back, another tool to discover. My night of exploration left me with more questions than answers, in the best way. And I realized, learning about technology is a never-ending process. After all these powerful tools, let's talk ethics. Tools like Wi-Fi Attack Tool and OET are for learning and defense, not for causing harm. The line between ethical research and illegal activity is clear. Never use these tools on networks you don't own or have explicit permission to test. Misuse can mean legal trouble, fines, or worse, and it's a violation of trust. The goal is to become a better defender, not a troublemaker. Curiosity is great, but it must be guided by a strong moral compass. Think of it like learning how a lock works. It's for building and protecting, not breaking in. Always test on your own equipment in a dedicated lab environment. This is standard practice for security professionals. Responsible use helps you protect your family, friends, and workplace. Wield this knowledge wisely. Use it to build a safer digital world for everyone. My 3 a.m. GitHub journey left me with one big realization. The world is more visible than we think. Our devices are like tiny lighthouses, constantly broadcasting information. Tools like Freeway make the invisible visible, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. This isn't about fear, it's about awareness. Knowing your device is always announcing itself is a reason to be informed, not paranoid. Dive into your settings, learn about randomized MAC addresses, and understand the protocols shaping your digital life. Open source tools democratize knowledge, letting anyone audit their own security. They empower us to see vulnerabilities and understand the digital world as it really is. The more we know, the better we can protect ourselves and advocate for stronger privacy. Stay curious. Keep learning. Don't be afraid to peek under the hood. You don't need to be a cybersecurity expert, but digital literacy is essential. Next time you connect to Wi-Fi, think about the silent conversations happening around you. The digital world is all around us. Understanding it is the first step to navigating it safely.